Yeah, so curious, we got a mystery afoot. We have a mysterious incident where he just left for some reason, came back, and then there was- I shouldn't overstay my- Oh, okay. Came back, and then he didn't- he never spoke a word for three years? I'm maybe- maybe I'm getting that timeline a little bit off, but that's the way it seems like. But I would say, yeah, it's 81 was when it happened, so... Oh, this guy's gonna be very pleased to see us, I'm sure. I'm sure of that fact. He's gonna love seeing me. <laughs> Damn, I guess- I gotta say, they gave her a lot of cake. I'm just saying. <laughs> Every time she's walking back, I just- that's all I'm seeing. <laughs> Okay, anyways, let's see what Hi. this guy's got to say. Hello. Hello. Is this Ken? Do I have to commit a crime to get your attention? Because <laughs> I seriously will. Ma'am, I'm really quite busy at the moment. Hey, wait. I know you. Oh. I'm pretty sure you don't. Yes, I do. You're Kathy. Kathy Rain. Oh, okay. My he does know us. My reputation precedes me in a kind of but not totally creepy way. Oh, uh, how do you know on. who I am? It's me, Lenny. Lenny Marks. Truth, you have no clue who he is. Pretend. No, nah, I'm just gonna be. I'm just gonna be straight. I'm drawing a blank. Really? You don't remember us playing when we were little kids? Not really. Sorry, buddy. Darn. Well, that's a bummer. Anyway, what can I do for you today? I mean, I, I think it's a little bit much to assume that everyone is gonna have a memory when they were six years old. I mean, I remember some things, but no, uh, you're not gonna remember much. Okay. I wanted to ask Incident if you know anything about my grandfather's accident. He was probably I too... really don't know much beyond the rumors. He probably wasn't on the force. The sheriff may have more information, but even he probably doesn't know anything that isn't in the report. It happened before either of us worked here. Ah. Okay, I think I'll have a chat with the sheriff then. So sure is thing. His office is to your right. Okay, uh, so it was before that. Does he know anything about the church? What's your opinion on this church? Yeah, give me the cold, hard facts, buddy. nice enough church. Why? I don't know. The priest seemed odd. Kind of pushy. A little bit. Yeah, I get your point. But I know the guy. He's harmless. If you say so. Okay, uh, my I lighter. Don't show him that. Okay, my cigarettes. I don't want to show him that. Okay, I got a taser. Yeah, that won't get me into trouble at all. <laughs> yeah, you're probably right. Okay, well, have a good day, well, Lenny. Gotta Goodbye. go. Good luck. Thank you. I'm just gonna. Uh, maybe later. Oops. Thanks. Sure thing. See ya. I don't know what he said. That's okay. Can we go here? Maybe you wanted to hang out sometime hey, or something. That's a restricted area. Oh, but we're we're childhood oh. friends. Okay. <laughs> we should Sorry. be able to go. <laughs> Let me in. Uh, photo. What do we got here? A bunch of cops lining up for a photo. Okay. Um, there's chairs. I can't really imagine anything but that. Coffee maker files. Can I take a look at your files? Don't mind me. I'm just gonna peruse behind the desk here. Lots of police <laughs> reports. What's the deal they with all that look phone? fairly recent, though. Nothing older what, than uh, 1990. The one in the cell. Oh, I thought it was with you. Well, shit. Oh! You just have a guy locked up? Okay. Bulletin board? Various notices and a wanted poster. Okay, not much. Alright. Uh, Coffee cups? Okay. Alright, let's go talk with the sheriff. He's not gonna be happy to see me. I guarantee that. Hey, buddy. Hello. I'm here. He just, I thought that was a window. He just reaches through it like nothing. Oh, dude, I'm the same boat. I'm gonna take some coffee with you. Oh, crap, it's you again. <laughs> the smart what did you expect? Returns. You have some more crimes to confess? Oh, you know, maybe a felony or two. Wouldn't be surprised. Look, I'm busy here. What do you want? I just have a few questions. That's all. <sighs> Fine. Go ahead. Well, at least he seems nice. Uh, I mean, we were kind of rude to him. What, what do you know about the church? <laughs> I'm gonna ask everybody this question. What's your opinion on this church? <laughs> What's your opinion? It's a fine church. I go there myself every Sunday. Oh, man. I love, I'm just, that's my first question to anybody I meet. What's your opinion on this church? I want to know what you think of this. I don't want to show him. Okay. I don't, uh, yeah, that, yeah, okay. Incident in 81. Do you know what happened to Joseph Rain in 81? He had a stroke in the woods, that's what happened. Stroke in the woods? If that's all there is, why would Sheriff Truman open an investigation? It was just standard procedure. A general occurrence report always has to be filed. That is true. I see. Did you know him at all? No, I haven't been in town for long. Man sure has one hell of a reputation, though. It's been over a decade since he was put in that wheelchair, and people still talk about the man he used to be. Wow. It's like he was a cult leader or something. 
Sounds like a conspiracy theory to me. Interesting. Could be, but you know what they say. Things too good to be true usually are. All right. Interesting. So there was a police report. Can I have report. a look at that report? Absolutely not. They were official police documents. Why not? I thought filed police reports are public I was going to say, it should be public record. Not in this point. state, they ain't. Oh, okay. What state are we in? <laughs> I don't think that's... Uh, but I'm family. Doesn't that count for something? Lenny a little help here. I don't think Lenny's going to help me because he's his, his, his superior. He ain't going to do anything. Um, I'm going to do I'm family. But I'm family. Doesn't that count for something? You consider yourself family? I've never even seen you before in this town. Well, you said yourself it's you just moved here. <laughs> Guess what's complicated? Know? Not to mention illegal. Handing out evidence to anyone who asks for it. But, okay, a report isn't evidence. It's just a report. Aw, oh, come on, Sheriff. What's the big deal? It was a long time ago. It would make this girl very, very happy. Are you trying to use flirtation on an officer <laughs> of the law? <laughs> oh, that shit may work on numbnuts like Lenny, but I got work to do. <laughs> <laughs> That's not what I was expecting her to say. Okay. Lenny, a little help here? He's Don't not you help. agree that he's taking by the book too far? He's not gonna help. Well, uh, boss, she is his granddaughter, really. I don't think it's any. Don't you uh, think I know that? There are rules. Am I the only one in here who cares about the law? The law! Too much coffee? Okay. Try not to pop a vein. Oh my gosh. Alright, well, I guess. Do you this... wanna see the inside of a cell? <laughs> Oh, cuff me, officer. Spare me the torment of your rhetorical questions and veiled threats. All right. Just follow the rules like everyone else. I've had enough of this nonsense. Fine. I was going to say, I, I, I mean, I'm not, I'm not an expert, but I feel like after 10 years, it should be falling into public record. Just some photo. Nothing. A gold medal of some kind. Okay, he's either an Olympian or photo. another vet veteran. Just some photo. A photo of the sheriff shaking hands with some bald guy in a suit. Okay. Probably the mayor. It's always the mayor. Okay. Your motivation shouldn't be limited by your growling stomach, Lanny. <laughs> if you say so, boss. <laughs> their conversation, I love it. Okay, well, I guess their files are probably going to be in the back, so I guess there's there's really not much else I'm going to get hey, from uh, here. Hey, Kathy, wait. What? Do you eat foot? I, I mean, <laughs> food? Absolutely not. I feed on human misery. Oh my gosh! I, uh... Relax, Lenny. Yes, I do eat food. <laughs> oh, well, great. Can I buy you food sometime? And also buy food for me? And, and then maybe we can eat the food together? <laughs> this guy! Oh my gosh! I, I, <laughs> do you eat foot? <laughs> I guess we know what Lenny's into. <laughs> Um, uh, uh, there's no yes option because I thought that would have been hilarious, which sucks. I guess I'll just let him I'm off. I'm really busy now. right now. Maybe later. Oh, okay. See ya. D do you eat foot? <laughs> oh my gosh. I love how sassy she is. It makes it so freaking funny. Okay, well, that was kind of a dead end. I'm not really sure where to go unless I gotta find something else out. Um, is there any way I can look at my. No, okay, I can't look at my notebook while I'm driving, obviously. I guess maybe head back to the cemetery? So, we have an incident. Guy, they th he claims it was a stroke, which, and he's not wrong that a report would have had to have been filed anyway, so that, that is true, even if there wasn't any foul play or anything of, sus of suspicion. The Catmobile? Okay. Oh, that's nice. They covered it with flowers. Rest in peace, Grandpa. I wish things could have been different. That is nice. Okay, is there anything over here? Town? Conwell Springs. I never thought I'd return to this place. Okay, um, tombstone, tombstone. Okay, well, um, does, does his tomb... Joseph Irving Rain, March... Okay, to 95. Okay, not as helpful as I thought it would be. No reason. Okay. Oh, well. I thought there might be some clues here, but I'm not seeing anything. Can I, like, can I go to the church? It's the brochure that priest gave me at the funeral. The logo stands out, but other than that, it's just the usual church mumbo jumbo. Washing away your sins, salvation, blah blah. Okay, well, um. There's also an address at the bottom. You know, if I ever feel like getting my god on. Oh, that's a place to go. Oh. <laughs> Good old Satan. Better get his snowmobile ready for that day. Oh my gosh. Um, but maybe, maybe I can head to the church? Because it seems like a pretty prominent church. 
I mean, the sheriff goes there. Everyone has heard of it. Obviously, if the guy's passing out brochures to every freaking person he finds on straight, then yeah, there's going to be brochures everywhere. But, you know, maybe. Um, okay, maybe back to the sheriff's station. She, I mean, obviously, Grandma's not going to help me any bit. She just knows... Um, she knows of the police report and the incidents, but she doesn't really know much else. Hey, Lenny. So. Hello, Kathy. What's up? I changed my mind about feet. <laughs> hey, okay. I need to see the police report from 81 when my grandfather was found by the old sheriff. Well, we can ask him. Hmm. We only keep reports filed after 1990 in here, so I'd have to go check the archives in the other room. Well, If it was okay. up to me, I'd be happy to go take a look, but you heard the sheriff before. I'm sorry, but I can't help you unless he approves it. I was going to say, I'm pretty sure he's Ugh, not going to go. Fine. I, I would be shocked if he just blatantly was just like, oh yeah, let's just go against well, what my boss said. See ya. Um, is there any way I could distract him? NZ 500 self. Could I? You stun yeah, gun. That won't get me into trouble at all. <laughs> yeah, but I could, I could check out. I could check things out. He is drinking the coffee. Maybe that's something I need to be paying attention to because he is drinking a lot of coffee. Hello, Sheriff. Check the coffee maker. I'm curious if I can do something to the coffee maker. Just your standard <laughs> coffee maker. What should I do with it? Yeah, that's what I thought. Use pot of coffee on the files. Use pot of coffee on the Um, I'm gonna say... It's being used right now. Oh, he's using it. Okay, I'm gonna say, Lenny, you're gonna have to take one for the team. Because he's just gonna get... Well, actually, Lenny is willing to help me. So maybe I use the pot on the sheriff. Wouldn't that be the day? He can get his own coffee. Okay, never Thank mind. you very much. I was thinking spill it on the sheriff. If he wanted coffee, I'm sure he... No, uh, maybe... Not a big fan. Okay, it's gotta be something with this coffee cup, but I'm not exactly sure what to do with it. I don't have anything to put in it. What do I do with the coffee maker? There's got to be something I got to do with the coffee because he keeps getting... My gosh, man. How do you not have to pee? Look how often he's going for that coffee, man. I mean, I got a whole jug right here, but it was even so. Um, maybe, maybe, maybe I can grab some meds from Grandma's house and knock the cop out. <laughs> I, I don't know. I'm a little bit, uh, a little bit unsure of what to do at this point. I gotta get the files somehow. There's no way to sneak in the back. Lenny's not gonna let me in. Let me see if Granny knows anything about the police report. Maybe that might be of use? I mean, maybe not, but, oh, uh... Oh, hello. Hello. Okay. What do you know about the police report? There are a few things I need to ask you, Grandma. Very well, dear. Uh, the police report. I don't report. see a reason to ask her about that. Oh, come on. Who else are you gonna ask about it? Okay. Well, gotta go, Gramps. Talk the to you scotch. later. Bye, Kathy. Let's grab the scotch. Expensive looking scotch. No? Okay. Oh, I mean, I was gonna say, that's probably been there forever. I used to love to... Okay. And, and honestly, I mean, you're gonna know that there's alcohol in anything. <laughs> maybe I could call my... May, maybe, maybe I can get it offline through my, my roommate. Maybe. Hi, this is Eileen speaking. Hello, hey, it's, it's me. Hey, it's me, Kat. Oh, hi, what's up? Um, incident in 81. Too complicated to explain over the phone. I'll fill her in about it later. Oh, come on. She, 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 if she found out that we were from a different town just by sitting at her computer, she could be a valuable asset right I'm here. I'm trying to get a hold of a police report concerning Grandpa, but the cops refused to give it to me. Yep. The state laws are really strict about that sort of thing. Ugh, there must be some way to get my hands on it. Sure, but probably not within the boundaries of the law, Kathy. Well, Kathy Am isn't I within the boundaries this right? of the law. Are you encouraging criminal behavior, E? Oh, I would never! <laughs> Uh, does she know anything about the church? I can't ask. That's the most primary question. I want to know about the church. Whatever. Okay, gotta go. Can I, can I light it on fire? I'm trying to cut down on the pyro. <laughs> okay. Oh, uh, wait, 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 wait. Maybe, 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 maybe. Hang on, hang on. Can I check the phone number of the church? I'm having a hard time following that logic. I'm saying check the number. Okay, well, whatever. Okay, well, I'm a bit stuck. A wee bit stuck here. 
Unless, maybe, he keeps drinking the coffee. What if I dump the coffee into the plant, get rid of the coffee, and now he's got to go make some more coffee. Mm -hmm. Small town. Put it in the plant. Good idea, but they would notice me right now. <laughs> okay, um, well. Use coffee on the uh, phone? No. Okay, so what, do I have to d get a distraction here? Hey, do you mind if I use this phone here? Sorry, that's not allowed. Okay. So, so here's, the, here's the gears turning, here's the cogs coming. I'm thinking maybe I go back to Grandma's house, I call them and say, hey, there's an emergency. I mean, this is in the 1990s, I'm thinking. So maybe they won't have phone tracking technology and I can be like, yo, show up here. And then, um, then, 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 then they leave the office. But uh, maybe, maybe that's not the case. Can I, can I dial? No, I can't. I can only dial the roommate. Okay, convenient. Got nothing. Okay, gotta go. Talk to. Bye, Captain. Bye. You're no help to me at all. But thank you. Maybe I was just timing it wrong. Maybe, maybe I just gotta grab it. There we go. I was just. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. I was just timing it wrong. That's dumb. All right. Let's see how this plays out. Yeah, let's go have a seat. Because he's gonna get angry and need more some more coffee, which I totally understand. Let's have a seat. Lenny, quit loitering and make some damn coffee. <laughs> okay. Ten four, coming right up. Oh, it better be. I love he's just rolling across his chair. He's not even getting up. He's just rolling. All right, now we're heading in. Now we're in. Although I think he would have heard the door, but that's okay. Bum. Okay. Who is this guy? Because hey. they said. What? I can't hear you. Oh, what do you want me to turn the TV off? Thanks. That was getting annoying. Well, maybe maybe that's a bad thing because now they're going to be able to hey. hear and hear better. Hi there. <laughs> what are so, you in here for? Why'd they put you in that cell? Uh, well, uh, it, it's all just a big misunderstanding. Yeah, clearly the police Is don't even so? know. Yeah, I, I didn't mean to steal anything. I was just using my pockets to move the beer to the checkout. <laughs> that's the worst excuse I have ever heard. <laughs> For your information, I happen to have a deadly fear of shopping carts. I take my last statement back. This excuse is even worse. Wow. Hey, it wasn't your father who was killed by a shopping cart when you were eight. Oh my gosh. Uh, I sure hope not. To be fair, mine wasn't either. It was just something that <laughs> happened. Okay. But that doesn't mean it was any less traumatic, mind you. To this day, I still get nervous breakdowns at grocery stores. All right, sure. I think I've heard enough, buddy. You're right. We should stop before the flashbacks begin. Oh my gosh! All right, um, let's just let's okay. just. Okay. See ya. You're not of much help to me, is if it? If I, I ever feel the urge to clean. No, I'm just thinking of what. Uh... Hey, 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 buddy! Have you heard of this church? I don't want to give any of my stuff to a criminal. I'm no, not no, no. Back. I want to ask him about the church. I want to know what what he knows about the church. Okay, so it's gonna be probably the police reports is what we have to look. Okay. These must be the archived police reports that Lenny was My talking concern about. is going to be getting back out. Time to start digging. That's a lot of files to dig through. It's like what? It was like six bo or eight boxes there? Yes. Twelve boxes? Found it. August 16th, 1981. That was quick. Let's have a look. Okay, let's take a look at this. 8 16 81 11 40 p.m. An individual was encountered on the side of the dirt road a few miles from Conwell Springs, blindly walking forward with his eyes wide open. The subject was identified as Joseph Rain. He did not respond when touched or spoken to. He appeared to be dirty from head to toe and wet up to his knees. Mr. Rain was fiercely clutching a small tape recorder, complete, complete with tape. Being cooperative, he could be led into the squad car and transported back to town. Picked up Mrs. Rain and brought her along with Mr. Rain to the emergency room at the community clinic. Upon routine inspection of the patrol car, a tape recorder was found discarded in the back seat. File as evidence in Locker 5. Now, why has no one brought up this little tidbit hmm, of information? I'm gonna have to get my hands on that recorder. Yeah, okay. Locker number 5 is right there. But it requires a key. Okay. I wonder if I can get him to steal the key for me. Hey. Hi there. Seems nice, isn't it? Yeah, can you distract Lenny? You need to keep the blonde cop out there busy for a while. I do? <laughs> Ten bucks says you do. Hmm. 
I'd say my services in this matter are worth at least 20 bucks. Well, you can't argue. Nine. Fifteen. Eight. Fine. Ten. Uh. Seven. <sighs> Deal. Uh, okay. Good. So, uh, what am I doing again? Distract that young cop in the lobby. I don't care how you do it, as long as you keep him occupied for a while. Okay, then. Let me know when. Will do. Okay, um... Okay, go. Okay. See ya! Do, do I have to, like, hide? Well, there's a note here. Lenny, for the last time, stop leaving the locker keys on this table. Always put them back in your desk when you're done. This phone is not here for your personal calls either. The county shouldn't have to pay for your giggly shenanigans. Sheriff. Okay, well that's good to know. So that means it's going to be in his locker or in his desk. Can I A large hide? Evidence locker. Um can I can I mm, exit maybe? He's not going to say anything to me. Hey, okay. the jail is off limits. Oh. You shouldn't be in there. Oh, sorry. I just heard someone yelling. Oh, okay. Uh, I think that guy in the cell needs some help. Ah, <sighs> oh, what now? <laughs> On you go. Okay, desk time. Let's okay. search the desk. I have to make this quick. Okay, one, well, and he's got coffee. Can I take the coffee? No need for that one, Lynn. Okay, I know, but he's going to be coming to get more coffee pretty soon. Okay, let's find the key to locker number five. I was going to say, if I dump the coffee out, he won't be Got coming it. back. Okay, okay, let's go. Well, that was perfect timing. Alright, do I have to do I have to dump the coffee again, or is it going to be okay that I just... Time to waste more coffee. I... Okay. <laughs> at hey, at least they don't make me do it again. I can just do it automatically. Lenny! Coffee! Uh. Jeez Louise, already? I'll take care of it, boss. <laughs> this man, Lenny must think this boss is just like a coffee addict. He's just pounding the coffee. Like, oh my gosh. He's just blowing through it. Caffeine addict over there. Alright, uh, let's see. So now that I have large the key... Evidence lock. Did I not just pick up the key? Oh, okay. I was like, I was like, wait a minute here. Okay, cool. I'm like, wait a minute. I just grabbed the key. Excuse me. Okay, so a tape All right, recorder, got it. huh? Um, I'm gonna... Well, I guess I might as well listen to it now, because I'll probably have to put it back. Is there nothing in the tape stuff? Note to self. Remember the perfect bouquet consists of three red roses, a blue violet, and two yellow tulips. Okay. I've been working on my research in the attic at night. I just don't want her to worry. She has enough to think about with everything that's been going on lately. Okay. With Sharon and Kathy. Anyway, I'm getting close to finding the source. So I have so a promising new theory. It should be ready for a test soon. And nobody thought about this. Nobody nobody in the police force asked about that. Okay. So now I'm assuming we're going to have to go out and check in, check her attic. Most likely. Uh, because reasons. And let's figure out what Grandpa was up to at night. Who knows? Maybe he has an extensive collection of different planes up there. Okay, let's ask about the tape recorder. Hey, Grandma, do you recognize this tape recorder? Oh, yes, Mr. Dicto. Mr. Dicto. <laughs> Joseph used to carry that thing okay. with him everywhere. All right. He could be absent-minded at times. It helped him remember things. Okay, well, that's good to know. And clearly he did say things I about it. I got the dictaphone already. Here's I don't think there's anything else in there I need to mention to her. Mm. Oh, I about the, the okay. Well, okay, whatever. The attic. Would you mind Are there if I took a look in the, in the attic? attic? I suppose it would do no harm. Come with me. Thank you, Grandma. Let's go check Thanks, the attic. Grandma. You are welcome, dear. Be careful now. Okay. Have you been up here since? Like she doesn't seem to want to even come up here at all. Not even interested in what I might find. Didn't even ask why I'm here. <laughs> For that matter. Nothing. The bulb must be burned out. Okay. Do I need a flashlight? The bulb looks burned out. I'll have to replace it. Okay. Um. Do we have an extra bulb downstairs, maybe? 
It doesn't look like there's anything else I can really click on because I can't see anything. Yeah, I can't see anything. Let's head back downstairs. Maybe she's got... Um, oh, I can just double click and she, she goes. Okay. Oh, can I take it out of the table lamp? That's using the big think thong and noggin here. Score. Although, you know, we're just gonna... <laughs> Grandma's gonna come out and turn that on and it's just not gonna turn on and she's gonna be stuck in darkness, but <laughs> that's okay. We, we, we'll, we'll put it back later. The bulb looks burned out. Yeah, good. let's replace the bulb. Okay, bulb, light. Okay. There we go. Light switch. Voila! Okay, what have we got here? Okay, there's a briefcase. Oh, there's a passcode. Locked briefcase. Okay. Nope. That's not it. Yeah, I don't have any idea what this might be. But it was worth a try. Uh, fragile? Uh, okay, that doesn't help me either. Um, maybe the day... Well, the day doesn't Mr. really make Bear. sense. Mr. Oh, how did you get all the way up there? So let's be frank. Good she, idea. You just keep watch. I'll do the searching. She tried to burn her roommate's teddy bear. Reunited with a furry friend that says... She's tried to burn her roommate's teddy bear, but she, she like, likes her own. A okay. worn office chair on wheels. I'm feeling a sudden urge to do a race. Okay, I'm sure you are. Um, detergent, metal detector, shelves, diagram, coffee cup. Metal detector, maybe? An electronic maybe? metal detector. Kind of clunky for a person to lug around without a specific use for it. Okay, so what was he looking for? Let's check the drawers, maybe? Anything of Empty. value? Empty, okay. Uh, what about this book? A thick book about math. Oh, little joy. <laughs> Anything but- oh, she just took it. Okay, is there- can I read it? The Secrets of Infinite Numbers. Okay, infinite numbers, but there are the tabs, which was mentioned in the recording. Oh, I gotta- I gotta rewind the tape. I forgot, I haven't had to use a tape recorder in a long time. Note to self, remember the perfect bouquet consists of three red three roses, red. a blue violet, and two yellow tulips. Three red. I've been working on... Okay. Just okay, 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 okay. Yeah, shut up. Three red, one blue, and two yellow. Okay. Three red. Okay, well, this doesn't really... This doesn't really help me much. There's a whole bunch of numbers here. Three red, uh, one blue, and f two yellow? Okay. I'm not... I'm not entirely sure. Uh, that doesn't really help me much. I guess that would that would tell me the sequence if it's red, blue, yellow. So red would be first, blue would be next, and then yellow would be last. But I don't know what they're asking me to figure out here. Prime numbers. Well, let's go ask Grandma if she's got any clues. And we'll roll forward with that bit of business. Uh, do you know anything about the math book? I found this book in the attic. Recognize it? Oh, yes. I bought it for Joseph's birthday once. Okay. He was always fascinated by numbers. He believed that math could explain everything in this world. Well, he he's was a man of science. Right. There's no denying that. Okay, the locked briefcase. I don't think. No, the locked briefcase. I found a locked briefcase in the attic. Do you know anything about it? Oh, that old thing? Joseph said there were just some old boring Air Force papers in there. If that was the case, why use an intricate combination lock? Yeah, exactly. That's a very good question, dear. In any case, I wouldn't know how to open it. Well, you're not very helpful, are you? Okay, well, maybe I can call my roommate. Roommate, she's pretty smart. She's pretty intelligent. Let's see if she's got any ideas on the book. Hey, it's me, Kat. This is the same person that's hi, called you three hi, times in one day. Yeah, I committed a felony. I've got okay. this briefcase with a combination lock here. Yeah, so? Well, you're a geek. You must know some way to crack the code, right? You watch too many movies, Kathy. Uh. Come on, help me out. <sighs> How many digits? I don't know. Six. Okay, she knew. That'll Good. Be too hard to brute force. Yeah, it would be. Maybe whoever set the code left some kind of reminder around. Most people are careless about that sort of thing. I looked, but couldn't find anything too obvious. Then I'm out of ideas. Well, you're not any help, are you? Okay. Well, you were you were not helped. Uh, no, nope, couldn't find. Well, I didn't expect to find the name "locked briefcase" in a phone book. <laughs> um, so it's got to be something to do with this with this math book. He said three red, one blue, and two yellow. 
but I don't understand what this is asking me. Prime numbers, okay, any just three random prime numbers? Okay, I'm gonna write this down here. Let's see, so maybe, okay, so our red could potentially be maybe 146 if we're going across. 146235 maybe? Now if we go to the yellow bookmark, which there's supposed to be, no, the blue is next. It says one blue. Okay, Fibonacci numbers. I've got no idea. So maybe, maybe it's just one. Maybe blue is just just one. I, I don't know. We're just gonna try it, not just on number one. And then we have yellow, which is two. So maybe three, one for the first two digits. Two, three, five. I must be missing something. What was that weird first message on the Yeah. Tape? Hi, buddy. Yeah, I got. I, nope. That's. I got the message on the tape. I'm missing something with um. Can I? I I'm just gonna try and do a. Little... Yes. Oh. Okay. Cool. I don't know how that was the answer. <laughs> But all right, um, is there anything else in here? No, it doesn't look like it. Okay. How was that the answer? I put that to what was it just because it was one blue? Okay, cool. I got it. That's all that matters. Let's see what's in here. Yeah, let's check out what there this were two envelope pictures, is. A newspaper clipping, a key, and a tape inside. Okay, another tape. Oh, I'm not sure what the key would be. And a single copper penny too, for some reason. Okay. Well, um, it's the penny I found in the briefcase. Looks like it was minted the same year I was born. Okay. Grandpa and me, we had this game where he would hide pennies around the house and I would go on a treasure hunt. Okay. Never in the attic, though. I thought it was too scary up there. So maybe he's hidden a penny somewhere? It's a small key. Fairly modern design. No identifying tag. Uh, I haven't come across anything locked yet. Tragic drowning in Conwell Springs. In early morning on Sunday the 14th, a teenage girl found dead near Conwell Lake. The girl is survived by her mother, father, and younger brother. The funeral service will be held at Conwell Cemetery on the 21st of July. The notice is dated July 15th, 1975. Okay. Tragic story. I wonder why Grandpa saved this. Now, there were grave tombstones. There were, there were tombstones. Maybe I'll be able to find the right date. Grandpa in uniform with two other men. Something is handwritten on the back. Flight training. McConnell Air Force Base, 1941. So it was World War II. That's good to know. Okay, so I've got some stuff written down. Looks An overexposed, overexposed picture. I can't make much out. I think I see trees in the background, but most of the picture is just bright white. Okay. There's probably some way to enhance this back at school. I'll figure it out tomorrow when I'm back. Okay, so I can go back to the school. What is? What about the cassette? All right, let's see what this has to say. You've reached the rain residence. Leave a message after the beep. What? Hello, Joseph, Mrs. Rain. It's me, Charles. I thought I'd give you a call. Erica just had her firstborn. It's a boy. Thankfully, he looks nothing like his father. Uh, listen, I was thinking maybe you'd like to come and visit. And what about your little Kathy? Maybe she wants to see the baby. This guy kind of sounds creepy. Anyway, hope to see you soon. All the best. Bye. You people make me sick. What? We're never coming back. Don't call. Don't write. If you ever try to contact us, I will call the police. Okay. Joseph, you there? It's me, Cocky. Cocky? Okay. I, it happened to me, too. You're the only one I trust now. Just call me back as soon as you can. There's a lot on this tape. Hmm. I wonder who this Cocky is. There was a lot of information at once. That's the only thing you picked up was Cocky? You didn't pick up that the drowning happened? That it was potentially your mom talking to the grandparents about never wanting to see them again? And I'm thinking the person that they wanted Kathy to go play with maybe is the kid who drowned in in this tragic drowning in early morning. The girl, the noted. But I don't know that for a fact. 
Okay, a lot of questions, a lot of answers, but I think that's a solid first start to this first episode. This might be broken down into two episodes, depending. I don't really know how much put I'll keep in and, you know, vice versa, because progress was made and progress was not made. But anyways, I really like this game. This is cool. It's got a bit of a mysterious atmosphere to it. I don't really know exactly what's going on yet. We do know our mystery, which is about the grandfather, Joseph, disappearing. Something. Something went wrong with him. So he's he's an MIA, and then and then he came back and was in a big issue, and now he's dead. So there's definitely a big mystery here. Someone named Cocky. We got to figure out. We got to figure out where this key goes. Actually, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I used to love. Was was this was this locked? That doesn't need unlocking. <laughs> Well, it was worth a shot. What about this? That doesn't need him. A- okay, well, whatever. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. And if you have any, um, d- no spoilers, obviously, because I'd like to try and do this on my, you know, to figure it out. But if you guys have any ideas, hints, or thoughts, if you haven't seen the game before and you're just guessing like I am, feel free to throw them down in the comments below. I'll take a look at them and maybe we can kind of figure this out together. But anyways, thank you all so much for watching and I will see all y'all in the next video.